The Sinnoh Great Marsh and I have an interesting history. It's the home of my first ever Safari Zone Shiny, a random Babarel I caught back in 2008. But it's also the only Safari Zone that I've never actively hunted in for Safari Week. Until now. So this year, I played through four copies of Platinum to reach the Great Marsh, where I hope to maybe find one of the binocular exclusive Pokémon, like Carnivine, Krogunk, or Skorupi, or something cool like Yanma or Tropius. So with my four controller modded DS lights in the marsh, and two Game Boy SPs in the classic Kanto Safari Zone that I haven't hunted in years because of some stubborn draft, it fled. Fled immediately. Fled. Ah! Oh. I caught it! Oh my gosh, I caught Giraffe Rig! I set out on the hunt for the whole week, and here are the eight shinies that I found. So here's my first shiny of the week, which was found during a multi stream with the Supreme Arcanines and Sonics. We killed it, I I watched your GoFest thing recently, actually, uh, your compilation. Your reaction to the. I think it was the Swablu. You got three of them or something? Yep. And like your reaction to one of them was just like enough. Yeah, I, I, you know, I got a Swablu d the day one when they dropped them. Shiny Wooper! Really Yo! Oh! Oh! Shiny Wooper! Yo! Ooh. Right as I was showing off the controller mod! <laughs> 18,042! What shiny was it? Wooper! Wooper. Oh, the woo. It looks so happy. It's, it's extremely happy. <clears throat> All right, I think I got it adjusted enough. I'm gonna throw the first Safari Ball. It's the first one on my Japanese Platinum too. Now all four Platinums I have have found a shiny. One shake, two shake, three shake, catch. Yeah. Nice and easy. First of Safari Week 2021, chilling with the Supreme Arcanines and Sonics. And a call right now Congratulations. on stream. Look at that shiny Dex. Yo, Wupa. That thing is just happy to be alive. What are y'all's nature guesses? Um, adamant, brave. It's naive. Okay. Dude, my chat was picking up on that too. You about to get canceled, Matt? About time. Yeah, that that was a long, long first phase. Normal chatot. Vine, the shiny whooper. <laughs> That's one of my favorite look back sprites in the entire game. <laughs> the way that it just makes like that face at you. Thing is so confused. So with that first shiny taking 18,000 encounters, thankfully, the second shiny of Safari Week was a lot kinder to me encounter-wise, appearing that same night later after stream. This was also my only Kanto Safari shiny of the week. Here it is. I'm going through my final hour of Tropius on this DS. It's like an hour behind, so it's still like not nighttime yet. Tropius, go away at night. Uh, unless it's a binocular Pokemon, yeah, it gets replaced with Noctowl. Oh, that sucks. I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't have a Noctowl yet, though. I'd love to find it as one of those. I don't want a Hoot Hoot, but for now I'm not changing the time until I maybe find catch a Noctowl. Yeah, Nocturnal Owl would be pretty cool. Shiny Nidorino! Nice! Oh. Very blue! This could be a reclaim! Shiny Nidorino! Nice! Cool. Shiny Nidorino! Oh. Nice! That's after 2052. Not bad at all, go mad. Some Kanto, right next to a Nidorina, it's camouflaged. So, this is on the SpongeBob. Gonna zoom, 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 zoom. Actually, I need my remote right now. I need to change the lighting to Nidorino Blue right now. All right. Thanks, dude. All right, it just showed up like seconds after you left. All right, so last time I found one of these, I started listening to Crazy Frog as I was throwing the balls. I don't think I'm gonna do that this time because I failed it last time. So we're just gonna listen to Fire Red Leaf Green for right now. I think Nidorino actually hates Crazy Frog canonically. One, two, broke out, stayed, ball two, ball, toss, got in the ball, bounced three times, 
Shook once, broke out. Oh, it appeared to be caught. Fled. Still have yet to have anything in the Nidoran mail line. On to shiny number three of Safari Week. For my third shiny, I started the drought once again, going over 10,000 encounters. There was only one place I could turn to to end this shiny drought. And no, this is not a sponsored video in any sort of way. This is just some stupid thing that happened when we got this shiny. I went to the Home Depot. Not necessarily to buy any homewares or anything like that, though I've always been a fan of the ceiling fan aisle, but to take their catchy commercial music and play it on stream, because that's definitely what summoned this shiny. Alright, we got the O'Reilly confirmation. If it's in Montana, it's definitely not just a Louisiana thing. Now, I see your badge, Jazz Techo. It might just not be showing up for you. You might need to refresh. Shining the barrel! While listening to the Home Depot theme! While listening to the Home Depot theme. Yo. That's the thing I want at least from here, but I'm so happy to find a shiny after uh, all this time. 17,370. Um, there's a lot of stuff taking up the screen on the layout on stream right now. And you know what? I'm just going to keep it there. Because right now I'm recording this with my camera too. The camera that I'm using to film this. And then the actual video will have that. So... We just have this barrel with some confetti on it. Like, you don't even know how many safari balls I have left because of the Jirachi right now. But, uh, yeah, it showed up. Let's toss our first ball, see if we capture this. On the umbrella file. This is the file that got Susan the shiny Machop. One, two, three. First ball, easy capture. Got the shiny barrel. Nice. Excellent. Simple as that. That's number three for Safari Week. 17,370 encounters. Only one thing I can name this. Home Depot. Holding an item. Orin Berry. Thank you for the berry, Home Depot. Look at that. <laughs> Home Depot. Brave! A lot of people guessed Brave. Hold on. Um, it looks like Neophage did. Pokemon Trainer Rai did too. Normal Shellos. Home Depot. Beautiful. So, after all that, I knew that the Home Depot's mystical powers would not bring me any more shinies for the rest of Safari Week, so I needed to turn my inspiration somewhere else. To the produce aisle. The same day as Biberal, after ending stream, this happened. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna be going either. I gotta wake up normal time for work tomorrow, so that's gonna be a thing. Oh man. Oh yeah, that's true, you're going there, that's gonna be sick. Yeah, sounds good, dude. Oh, dude, not to pry too far into things, but did you actually just uh, decide- You wanted to hunt shiny Pokemon. <gasps> shiny Tropius! What? <gasps> shiny Tropius! What? <gasps> shiny Tropius! What? Oh. Whoa! That came on the bottom right game, the French game. It's still named Tropius. Absol SH. Dude. That was after 1908. Sub 2000. Alright, first ball. Come on, I love this thing. Tropius is one of my favorites. One, two, three. Bro, I caught it, yes! <laughs> I almost said broke out. I thought it was about to break out, but it was the start of the, the animation. Oh, dude. That is a Safari Dream Shiny right there. Dude, hold on. Let me let me zoom out for a second. I've got a Tropius figure right here. Earlier on stream, I actually had this thing out to uh, summon Tropius on on my layout. Like, it was like sitting on top of the DS that ended up being next to this one. Let me shine some light on it. 
But we got the shiny dex entry. Tropius, Pokemon fruit. Let me read this dex entry for y'all. Uh, this is gonna be some of the worst French you've ever heard. Uh, it's planted type and vol type. Hot, two, two comma O meters. Poids, 100 zero kilograms. A uh, force de toujours, manger le même fruit succulent. Il en pousse à la base de son coup. All right, I got a nature guess from Oakley. Calm with an E. It's foo-foo nature. Well, what does that mean? Rash. So let's check this thing out in battle real quick. Move on to the next phase. Normal Wingle. Go Elise. Go Elise. And here's our Tropius, which will be nicknamed later. Beautiful hole. I think that poorly reading that French Pokedex entry may have cursed me a little bit, because yet again, after that phase, I went well over 10,000. The Safari droughts just kept continuing, and this is what ended that drought. I, I'm gonna have to make one of those two 8BitLord64. Uh, at this point, I, whenever I do find, like, the Baja, I'm gonna, like, pose and take a picture of it and do, like, the it's been 3,000 years thing, because it's been brutal. Because, like, not only do, like, I just, you know, want to try the new flavors, but they're also having contests. <gasps> Shiny Carvine! Oh my gosh! You know, want to try the new flavors, but they're also having contests. <gasps> Shiny Carvine! Oh my gosh! Shiny Carnivine! That's one of the gold shinies! That's a 10% that's a binocular Pokemon! What the heck, dude? Right at the beginning of stream while I was talking about Baja Blast. Unreal. This is the other grass type I wanted to see here, after Tropius. Let's get in a nice zoom here. See if we can catch this. It's uh, precariously placed on top of some Rubik's Cube, so hopefully those don't fall over and cause us to fail it in another way. But look at this. This came after 11,606. Uh, let me position the camera in just the right way. Hold on. Okay, I think that's good enough. That was very sudden. That thing really came out of the blue. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna take a quick picture of this thing in case it is gone forever. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna set the, the lights to a consistent carnivine green around me. Even though you can't really see them right now. Hold on, let me zoom out. See, it's all carnivine green right now. I don't, I, I've heard this thing has an all right catch rate, but it's the Safari Zone. People have been failing lots of easy catches. I'm just going to throw a ball and hope for the best. Ball. All right, it's getting in. One. Broke out. Beautiful, though. We get to see it sparkle up close again. And it fled. Oh, man. The Carnivine fled. What a bummer. Only 10 minutes into stream, though. Man. Sad to see it go but at least cool to see it in the first place, you know? That's what Safari Week's all about. Let's continue the Safari game. What if we just find another shiny, the same Safari game on that same game? Gotcha, Patty. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. What the heck? This is so good. Look at this. This is like, it's impeccable. Hold on, let me get the better camera focus on this. I can't believe this right now. Like, the you even got like the 170 calories on it. This is incredible Prince Scotch. I love this so much. It is blessed art for sure. That's like probably like, I don't know, that, that's phenomenal. I don't even know what to say. Hands down the best drawing of Jirachi drinking a Mountain Dew currently in existence. a movie about Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna be recording a lot of footage for it. And if it's good, I'll make a movie Shiny Whooper on the same game as Carnivine. And if it's good, I'll make a movie Shiny Whooper on the same game as Carnivine. Another Shiny Whooper after 906. 
That was fast. That's two in one stream. It is on the game with Chansey right there. So, 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 so quick. Alrighty, let's see if we can catch this thing. This is the same game as my first whooper too. This is the second whooper on this file. So let's see if we can bring this babe home. Alrighty. Show me that Jirachi picture on, str on stream, 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 stream. I'm at a loss for words. Was really, really uh, lucky it seems. There we go, and Yamper is standing on its head right now. Get off of there, dog. Hold on. Down, boy. There we go, good boy. Now let's see if this whooper will get in the ball. Ball. One, two, three, and we caught it. First ball. There we go, we, we failed something today. We won something. 906 encounters for our second shiny whooper on this file. I'm gonna name it, uh, just a smiley face. Was that the same Safari game as the Carnivine? It might have been. I don't remember resetting my, my per Platinums after that. That was the same Safari game. I predicted that. I said earlier that it would be like same game. Looked up on Serebi. It's sassy. Alrighty. So it's sassy. Very, very sassy whooper to uh, help us out after failing that Carnivine. Smiley face. And so the hunt in the safari zone continued. Let's see if I can somehow tie this pack opening into the safari zone or gray marsh. Find some kind of metaphor so it fits in the video. Waylord, not in the marsh. Whalmer, not in the marsh. Feebass, not in the marsh. Milotic, not in the marsh. Lugia, not in the marsh, as far as we currently know. It's a legendary Pokemon, so it just might be hiding there. Galarian Moltres, definitely not in the marsh. All right, so this code card starts with DZN. I know a lot of y'all are thinking some very juvenile things with that, but that just means the zone, like the safari zone. Not, not in the marsh, not in the marsh. Not in the marsh, not in the marsh. Not in the marsh, not in the marsh. Not in the marsh, I think. Not in the marsh. Not in the marsh. Uh, not in the marsh, but cool. Not in the marsh. Oh, NM there stands for uh, not in the marsh. Will we get a single Pokemon that appears in the Great Marsh? Not in the marsh. Definitely not in the marsh. There, there are no scrolls there. There are no huge trees there. No Weedle. Not in the marsh. I think that's not in the marsh. Not in the marsh. Not in the marsh. Not in the, yeah, that actually is in the marsh in Platinum. We have successfully had a marsh find. This appears if you have the national decks in the post game through the binoculars. And I don't think this thing appears in the marsh either. On to the next phase. Good evening. Shiny Whooper! Shiny Whooper! Yeah! Third Whooper after 17,670. It's all good. I'm, I always welcome another pink friend. Alrighty. Let's see if we can catch this. This little guy. Check him out. His name is, uh, I, I'm getting a telepathic reading. His name is Brad. This is Brad the Whooper. Let's see if he wants to get in the ball. One shake, two shake, three shake, caught. Easy as that. That's three for three on the Whoopers, and that is my seventh of Safari Week. Brad is coming home. All right, Z Superfire 5 guesses mild. Timothy Paul guesses sassy. And uh, your fried bread guesses docile. I was in a, a, a Discord call with all these fine fellows when Brad decided to appear. 
And he's serious. He means business. Look at that face. All right, there is a normal weasel. And uh, there's Brad. Kill him, Brad. So now at this point, I'd caught five shinies in the Great Marsh. And catching five Pokemon in the Great Marsh nets you the matchup checker Poketchap. Now kiss. And then began the final and longest hunt of Safari Week for me. Something that extended past Sunday when Safari Week technically ended into Safari Overtime. Here's what I found. Shiny Wooper! Yo! Okay! Shiny Wooper! Yo! Okay! Third one on the Japanese game, 29,910 encounters. That was a very, very long overtime phase. It is Tuesday right now. Tuesday. Tuesday. After Safari Week ended. And at last, for the fourth time. While watching Safari Week compilations, we have been whooped. So let's see if we can uh, bring home a fourth whooper, literally the third whooper on this Japanese file. This Japanese file has been popping off this week. I don't know what, what's up with that. So um, let me get a snap real quick. I'm going to turn the lights around me to Wooper Pink. I was really just waiting to hit 30,000. I was actually not expecting to find a shiny right before 30,000. So I guess I can't say I went to 30,000 this week. Though my luck has been pretty abysmal. I went over double odds and I went over 10,000 so many times. I'm just happy to see something shine right now. All right, let's see if we catch this thing. Ball. One, two, three, caught it. <laughs> we are four for four on whoopers. We're going to Wendy's with this thing. We're going to Whooper Wendy's. I'm pretty sure I already like went to Wendy's for a Safari Week video, but we went to Home Depot this year. Yeah, no way I'm gonna go back to Wendy's just for Whooper. No chance. I'm like dealing with an axolotl invasion here. All right, it's not the same nature as any of my other whooper. Gotta see what this is. It appears to be brave. Was a bike to uh, show this thing off in an encounter. Changing gears every few seconds. Our bike is about to break. Oh my gosh. Thunderstorm today. Spooked me for a second. All right, there is a grown up whooper right there. Quagsire. And Wimby, the four for four. So that's it for me. Let's check out our haul in Battle Revolution now. I want to send out that quad whooper again. Check it out. Something cool I noticed about the whooper in this game is that it carries over an interesting quirk from its Colosseum and XD model for the shiny, where its mouth is green when it opens its mouth. So yeah, this thing's been eating a lot of green popsicles or something, I don't know. And here are Tropius and Bibarel. But yeah, that was my Safari week. I had a lot of fun uh, hunting in the Great Marsh for the first time ever. Definitely got to go back and reclaim my Carnivine someday, but I got my sights on a few more hunts in Platinum before I do that first. And a huge, massive, gigantic, whopping, 
whooper whopping shout out to everyone who participated in Safari Week this year. That's been insane. Uh, I seriously saw like a new shiny every couple minutes, and it's just been incredible to see the whole community come together for something like this. And as always, shout out to the original creators of Safari Week, the original hosts, Pikachu Paradise and Shiny Hunter Nick. This wouldn't have happened without them. Expect a lot more vids from me soon. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. B Barrel starts to attack. A fierce blow. The blue corner barely holds on. <laughs>